Hey guys, Beautiful Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be making a DIY chandelier. And I'm going to be starting off this project by drawing round circles on a board using this compass that I got online. And the link for this is going to be down in the description box below. It can be adjusted to the length that you want and it is generally so easy to use. I'm starting off with the first circle that would have a radius of 10 inches. Here's my inspiration photo. And I'll be doing this on a plastic board that I got from Michael's craft store. And the second circle will be 8 inches. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I'm gonna carve this out with an X-Acto knife. I made two, but I'll be using the other one much later. These are the beads that I'll be using for this project. And I chose these particular beads because they're really affordable, considering that I'm going to be needing a lot for this project. I'm going to go ahead now and make random points on the board. Now I'm going to start cutting the beads to different lengths for the project. Now that I have all my pieces, they're going to be glued to the points. And as I was doing this, I realized that some of the points were closer than others. So I won't really be gluing all of the beads on all of the points, but I'm just going to be eyeballing it to make sure that it's equally spaced. I'm going to glue the longer beads on the second line and then the longest beads on the third line. I measured how much I will need to go around this and I made the cuts from a plastic sheet that I got from Home Depot. I'll be covering this with a gold reflective paper. The contact paper did not attach well to the plastic at the back, so because of that, I had to use hot glue there. Now I'm going to be attaching what I just made to this.
To make this even more sturdy, I'm going to be adding the second ring. Because the inspiration photo has a textured background, I decided to use this decorative placemat that I got from Walmart. And this is going to work perfectly for the texture that I want. I'm going to cut this into two and attach it to what I just made. For the decorative squares that are on top, I decided to go with foam sheets that I cut to size and I'll be covering them with gold reflective paper. Now this didn't turn out too well, it's kind of thick, so I had to switch it up for hard poster boards. I had to bend them just a bit to give them some kind of curve and then attach them with a hot glue gun. For the lighting, I'll be using these remote-controlled LED strips. They are self-adhesive, so all I'm going to be doing is just attaching it to the bottom part of the chandelier. The battery packs are going to be glued on top, and then the wires are going to be held in the middle with tape. This is the fishing line that I'm going to use to mount the chandelier to the ceiling. These are really strong fishing lines and then I'm going to be attaching them to the body of the chandelier. And this is going to be measured and I'll be making six of this. Like I said, this is really strong and it can carry the chandelier. And this is just one. But like I said, I'm going to make six of this. I got book rings from the Dollar Tree and these are two different sizes and I'll go for the smaller size. All the six strings that I'm going to make are going to be attached to this. I want to make this super easy to mount and remove so because of that it will be mounted on a cup hook. My chandelier does not weigh a lot but if you make yours with different materials that are going to make it heavy, you're going to have to look for a cup hook that can hold the weight. After mounting it, this is what it looks like. It's simple, it's nice, but I have to agree, it's a little bit bigger than the inspiration photo. And I later reduced the length of the longer beads by 2 inches. I use bright white lighting for this, but then you can also use soft white lighting for this as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.